Hello guys, my name is Hashima and I recently gave GMAT exam at the end of June 2024. I use side respect for my preparation and in this video I'm going to discuss how TDP helped me to achieve my final score. So to give a bit of a background info regarding me, so I'm a software engineer in Bangalore and I'm originally from Punjab, India. I completed my undergraduate studies from the Institute of Technology, Khar School and I did dual degree in aerospace engineering from there. So the final score that I achieved on the GMAT exam was 725, which consisted of a 90 in Pond section and 83 in verbal section and finally 85 in data insight section. Target test prep helped me a lot to achieve this final score and let's see how. So uh, I came to know about TTP from a quite a senior of mine who had used target test prep for his GMAT practice. So I thought that maybe I should also go with Diet as prep only. So I started my GMAT prep in the last week of January and I gave my GMAT exam in the month of June. So that's around five months of practice with target as prep. And prior to TTP, I had not taken any other course for GMAT and I had not even taken GMAT exam. So this was my first attempt. Actually, I had not even taken a GMAT mock test because I wanted to save on the OG mock test that I had, the all the six OG mock tests. So I, but I did give the diagnostic test that we, uh, we have in DTP and the test showed that I have a medium level of practice for GMAT and it clearly showed that I needed a lot of practice in verbal section and data and section. So, so the one thing that I like about DTP is the ideology with which they attack the GMAT exam. I think that is very important because uh, I did come across some Reddit posts uh, which indicated that, you know, for example, in the verbal section, many people believe that you cannot really learn those skills. And like, uh, for example, in RC, many people believe that whatever your initial score is will be your, will be around same your final score in the final exam. But uh, in TTP, they treat like all topics as, you know, skill based and hence, you know, that they, those skills can be learned with practice. Also, one another thing that I liked about TTP was that they also had content, you know, with other aspects of exam, like how to deal with the test day anxiety and also like how to actively read and understand the content that you have. I think this uh, kind of content also helped a lot because it was a lot refreshing for refreshing for the brain also, and you know, it really helped you to get in to the psychology of the test and basically give you a, a much better practice for the test than you would have, you know, I believe you would have just sim found simply solving questions and learning the concepts. So when I began the target test prep course, the first video that I saw was basically how to make the most out of the course. And there it was uh, emphasized again and again that you should really stick to the study plan. And I think I would like to highlight that out in this video also that you know, the study pen that the target has has helped me a lot throughout my preparation and it basically helps you to keep the track of your preparation and how you're going and it also like puts all the chapters in order for you and you know some days like, there will be some days when you will not be able to stick to the study pen and you might actually not be able to complete whatever you had or the tasks for that day, but that's completely fine because the study plan also, you know, adjusts itself and it will update your calendar accordingly the next time you visit the study plan. So another thing is that they have a depth and understanding focused content. So as I mentioned previously that uh, chapters are in a particular order to help you with your understanding and so that to ensure that you basically you gain the most out of these chapters and for example in the verbal section, you can see that the assumption is taught first and then from there on you go on to strengthen the arguments and then finally break an argument and so on. Uh, in data insights also you learn about you know different types of graphs, graphs and tables and then you build your understanding based upon these ideas. So I think Target Test Prep has really you know mastered this where they spread all the content over multiple chapters and you are able to focus on one particular chapter at a time and you know really master one particular skill at a time. Another thing up that I liked about uh, TTP was that they really have a very supportive team which answers to your 
any question or all the queries you know that you have you can any time just go in the chat box and ask them anything really you want to and they will usually reply within like i think two or three hours so that's really helpful so in my gmail journey using ttp i spent like most of the time in verbal and then in data insights and then in con section so i knew that i had a good grasp over the con topics so i did them a bit faster than other sections but i did not skip any section even in con also and i make made sure to complete all the questions that they had for con even the practice questions and the finally the chapter test questions also so for and in verbal section uh, i would say initially i was really stumped by the questions and i would spend a lot of time just reading the question and would i really thought to myself that how could i even solve this question in under 2 minutes like it's nearly impossible but uh, and i remember that even for some hard tests like i had an average of around 9 minutes for one question and i would you know go to the chat section and ask the ttp guys that hey i'm taking you know this much time in verbal section and i'm really afraid that it's a bit too much like should i change some of my answering strategy or something else so then but the ttp guys is showed me that it's really okay to for you to spend this much time because you should really be spending more time to understand the concepts like in depth really it doesn't even matter that you take 9 minutes 10 minutes or 20 minutes for a single question so i did basically just that and spent an in and the initial preparation stages i really spent a lot of time on every single verbal topic and same goes for data and sites also in the data and sites section i would take a lot of time to solve the data and sites questions and i really expected myself to score a bit better in data and sites because i thought since my quant is good so i should score good in data and sites also but i did i found there also that i took a lot of time and my accuracy was also low in data and sites and the main thing i remember i struggled in data and sites was that you know when in some questions they would have these graphs and you know this long tables that i really struggled to grasp all the knowledge from the table and graph and then. so it took a lot of time to really understand the question rather than answering the question so that was the major problem that i faced in the rent sites and there also with practice and with i would say with consistent practice the time came a, a lot of a lot down a lot down and like i remember by the end of my practice in data and sites uh the questions which had like big tables and you know complicated graphs were the easiest questions that i felt because i would score them on an average of like uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds or 1 minute and 45 seconds so i think like the ttp course helped me a lot to achieve that because the the tables and graphs questions in the ttp that they provide are like really really tough so when you finally go on to answer do some you know mock tests and you will find that okay it's not that difficult compared to the ttp so uh, yeah that's that finally when i completed all my practice from ttp and you know began uh, solving the og even then i would come back to ttp to practice for example like if i would give some after each and every mock test this year so i would note down the questions that i got wrong on questions you know that trick me or took me quite long to solve and i would generate some custom tests using target express for those particular topics and really must try to master those topics and make sure that i you know i can bring my time down there and also to make sure that i can increase my accuracy in those particular topics overall if you are deciding to give the gmat exam and you are uh, confused about which course to take i would recommend ttp to you for all the before mentioned details so it's a really great course with a really good study plan and a really in depth content so thanks